One of the craziest things about blockchain is that you have open access to a brand new financial ecosystem where you can create arbitrage-based crypto trading bots that make you passive income while you sleep. Like this developer who made over $20,000 in a single transaction right before I sat down to record this video, all 100% verifiable on the chain. But if you want to get into this, then you need to get good at one thing in particular. I'm going to lay out exactly what that secret is and how you can get an edge as a blockchain developer myself who's built multiple crypto trading bots. So if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below and subscribe. All right, so let's talk about this secret for making a profitable crypto arbitrage trading bot in 2025. So I'm going to assume you know what arbitrage is. If you click on this video, basically that's buying cryptocurrency on one exchange and selling it on another exchange for a profit. Now, you can do this on traditional cryptocurrency exchanges like Coinbase or Binance, but there's a big problem with this. By the time you buy it on one exchange and go to sell it on the other exchange, then the price might move on you, okay? And you could technically lose money. And one of the biggest reasons people get into arbitrage in the first place is because they want to have a strategy where they can't lose money. And so what should you do instead? Well, I'm going to let you in on a secret, okay? You can actually create a cryptocurrency arbitrage bot that cannot lose money, like mathematically can't lose money and doesn't require any of your own money to trade. And that's what I'm going to talk about in this video today. But if you want to actually create one, you need to learn to develop for the blockchain and also learn how to use flash loans. And I'm super excited to announce that I'm launching the ultimate blockchain development training, the Blockchain Bootcamp version 3 on next Thursday, May 15th. This is going to be the end all program developing for blockchain. And we're also going to go deep on flash loans, which you have to understand if you want to create a profitable arbitrage crypto trading bot. So trust me, you don't want to miss this. Make sure you hold your spot with the link down below before it's too late. All right, so let's get into how this bot works. So again, we're talking about an arbitrage bot that can't lose money and doesn't require any of your own money to trade. So how can it not lose money? Well, let's first take a look at the exchanges. So again, this bot is going to be using decentralized cryptocurrency exchanges that run on the blockchain. Let's say exchange A and exchange B here. Let's use two different exchanges, Uniswap and SushiSwap as examples. All right. So you could, you know, get your wallet out and buy a token on Uniswap and then sell on SushiSwap. But if those transactions happen in different blocks, you have the same problem, which is the price could move on you. However, if you use a smart contract, you can hook into these exchanges and in real time, okay, you can buy on one exchange and sell on the other. And there's no way the price can move on you whenever you're doing that buy and you're doing that sell. So that's the secret sauce behind this is using a smart contract on the blockchain that orchestrates the trade and mathematically cannot lose you money. Now, there's always the caveat that if the trade doesn't work out, you can lose money on the gas fees, but really that's tiny when you're talking about some of these fast blockchains. And so that's basically how the bot can't lose money. Now, how do you use this bot where you don't need any of your own money to trade? Well, that's where flash loans come into play, okay? So flash loans basically are a technique where you can borrow millions of dollars of cryptocurrency for free in the blockchain as long as you pay it back in the same transaction. All right. That's absolutely insane. So you might say, like, how does that work? Well, again, when you're using a smart contract, you can create transactions that have multiple steps, like borrow money, swap on one exchange, swap on the other exchange, and then keep a profit all in real time. OK, so that's how you can do this without needing of your own money to trade because you can borrow it with flash loans. Now, let's sort of fill in the dots for this particular diagram here. So if you see everything that's below this line, that's in the blockchain. Here's what's outside the blockchain. So first of all, these smart contracts can be written in Solidity. That's the main programming language for blockchains like Ethereum and other EVM compatible chains like Layer 2s or Avalanche, whatever. And so let's go ahead and talk about how to find arbitrage opportunities and actually implement this, okay? So let's start off with the exchanges. So a minute ago, I talked about, you know, Uniswap, all right? And I, I chose that one for a pretty particular reason, okay? Because whenever you want to go figure out, like, how do I create a smart contract that actually swaps on Uniswap, all right? That's the core thing you need to know. You can go to the Uniswap documentation and actually see that there is a function in here called swap exact tokens for tokens. All right. That's basically how you swap on that exchange. So you need to be able to create a smart contract that can swap on that exchange. Now, the beauty of this is what if you could take this exact same code and just do it in the reverse order on a different exchange? Well, let me show you a trick. So if you go to the forks tab on DeFi Llama, all right. That's going to show you a bunch of different blockchain applications that have been copied over and over again. That's what a fork is. And if you look at Uniswap version two, you can see it's been forked almost 700 times. Okay. 
So basically, if you can write code to swap on Uniswap version 2, you can use that same code to also swap on almost 700 different decentralized exchanges, all right? If you see a sushi swap up here, a pancake swap, that's what I pulled up a minute ago in my other uh, example. So basically, if you can write this code in your smart contract to swap on Uniswap, you just reverse the order, point it to a different exchange that uses the same interface, just like the Uniswap version 2 forks, and then boom, you can arbitrage between two exchanges inside your smart contract. All right, so we've covered the smart contract and hooking it to two different exchanges. I definitely recommend only doing two exchanges when you're getting started just to make things simple, and you want those to be a fork of one another so that the code works the exact same on both, all right? And then next thing we need to talk about is the flash loan, actually hooking that in. So you need to pick a flash loan provider for your smart contract. And my number one recommendation is Balancer. So why is that? Well, Balancer is a flash loan provider, basically, that uh, is really easy to get started. You can just sort of copy and paste the template into your project to get going quickly. It's also multi-chain, so you can do it on multiple different blockchains, and it requires zero fees, so it doesn't cost you anything to do the flash loans. So that's the next thing. Whenever you basically are doing your contracts, you do the exchanges, you add in the flash loan provider, and that's how you don't have to have any money to trade these transactions. Now, of course, you have to have money to pay the gas fees, but that's it. All right, so now let's talk about the bot side of the equation. So again, we have the smart contract that actually orchestrates the trade, takes out the flash loan, things like that. But the smart contract's not actually going to find arbitrage opportunities. It's just going to do what it's told to do. So something else has to tell it to actually execute the trade. And that's where the searcher bot comes into play. So basically, you have a searcher bot, which is just a program that runs on your computer or in the cloud, and it's always scanning for opportunities, and then it calls your smart contract whenever it finds one and then does the trade, and then the smart contract's what's responsible for holding your money and make sure it's not losing any money and sending it back to your developer wallet. So how do you create a bot like this? Well, you're going to want to write it in a programming language like JavaScript, okay? Now, JavaScript does not run natively on your computer, so it it's natively runs in your web browser. So you need something like Node.js in order to run a JavaScript bot locally on your machine. So that's where Node.js comes into play. And also, JavaScript outside the box is not going to natively talk to the blockchain, so you need a special library to do that. And that's exactly what Ethers.js is for. So whenever you're going to make calls to your smart contract inside of JavaScript, you're going to use the Ethers.js library and then talk to it that way. So finally, you need to be able to talk to the exchanges and the cryptocurrency that you're trading. So first, let's start off with the exchanges. So again, I definitely recommend using Uniswap version 2 because it's a commonly forked protocol and there's lots of other exchanges that you can arbitrage against with the exact same code. Okay, so if you're going to do that, then you can look up the Uniswap version 2 software developer kit. That's what SDK stands for. And basically, this is going to be a JavaScript library that's going to allow you to basically make calls from your bot in this process, okay? And also, if you want to implement Uniswap version 2 in your smart contracts, you can do that way too. You can look at the source code for that here, all right, on GitHub. You can download this as an NPM package directly into your project, wire it up in there, pull the functions into your smart contract, and also pull them into your front-end application, and you'll be good to go. Now, let's also talk about the cryptocurrencies in this case, okay? So whenever you're talking to a cryptocurrency or an ERC-20 token on a blockchain like Ethereum or some other EVM-compatible chain, you know, you're talking to a smart contract track, all right? And you're going to be doing this with Ethers.js, like I talked about before, inside of JavaScript. So if you want to talk to a cryptocurrency token in JavaScript, then you need two pieces of information, all right? You need the ABI and you need the address. So I'm going to show you how to find those. So if you go to a website like Etherscan, all right, you can look up a coin like USDC and you can go to the contract tab here and you can see the ABI, which is basically just this JavaScript, excuse me, this JSON uh, blob of information. It's basically just describes like what types of functions that the smart contract has. So when you create a JavaScript version of it, it knows how to talk to it, okay? So you need the ABI, you can grab that here. And then also the address, which you can copy directly from Etherscan. You can pull those back into Ethers.js like I talked about before. And then bada bing, bada boom, you've got a way to talk to the smart contracts in JavaScript. All right, so those are some of the prerequisites that you need in order to create your searcher bot. But behind the scenes, like what is your searcher bot actually going to do? Well, it's going to watch each cryptocurrency exchange that you're monitoring with your smart contract. And it's going to examine every single trade that comes through and it's going to monitor the prices on each exchange. So every single time that a new trade comes through for the trading pairs that you're watching, whenever that happens, does it cause the prices of these two different exchanges to fall out of sync? And if it does, that's when an arbitrage opportunity is available, and that's when it can talk to your smart contract and say, hey, go capitalize on this opportunity, make the trade, and then send me the profit, okay? So how specifically do you find this information? Well, 
If you want to find every single trade on a Uniswap version 2 like exchange, you're going to look at the Uniswap version 2 router. That's where all the trades go through. Okay, so I got an Ether scan here. You can just look up Uniswap version 2 router. Here's the address if you want to grab it from the video. Okay, and I can go to the transactions. I can just click on a random transaction here. Okay, I can see the information about what was actually traded. All right, so basically I would just look at this. I, I would get an alert about this as the trade comes through in real time. And then I would look at the difference between the prices on the exchanges. And if it fell out of sync, then, and there was an opportunity for the arbitrage, then boom, that's how we'll call it. All right, so finally, how do you find opportunities? Because this is one of the most common questions I get when people ask me about arbitrage. So there's lots of different ways to do it, but the whole name of the game is to try to find a trading pair and then an opportunity that other people aren't necessarily looking for. Because you can try to be competitive or you can just try to do something that nobody else is. So how do you do that? Well, a really dead simple way is to just, first of all, get a list of all the cryptocurrencies you could possibly trade. Now, there's no actual complete list of like this online, but something pretty close is like the Etherscan token tracker, okay? You can see a list of all these different ERC-20 tokens that are deployed on top of Ethereum, all right? They're also going to be deployed to many other blockchains as well, so this is a starting point, all right? So let's just pick one, let's say the Chainlink token, that's a pretty popular token. You can copy the address and then you can go to a website like Dex Screener, okay? And then basically you can go to the search tab and then paste in the token address for Chainlink or just look for the token name, all right? And you can see the different markets that you can trade this on, okay? So you've got Chainlink token that could be swapped on Uniswap here. It can be swapped Uniswap on this blockchain. It can be swapped on Aerodrome. It can be swapped on QuickSwap, Camelot, all right? All these different decentralized exchanges. And basically, you can just rinse and repeat this process for hundreds, if not thousands of tokens across different decentralized exchanges across different blockchains. Because I've just talked about two cryptocurrencies, two exchanges, and one blockchain. But if you change any of these parameters, you can mix and match this for a nearly infinite number of combinations. All right, so that's an overview of how to create a blockchain-based cryptocurrency arbitrage trading bot in 2025. So if you want to get good at this, then you absolutely have to learn to develop for the blockchain and how to use flash loans. But again, I've got you covered because I'm launching the ultimate blockchain training, the blockchain bootcamp, next Thursday, May 15th. Inside, we're going to go deep on flash loans and show you everything you need to know to go from zero to blockchain master. So trust me, you don't want to miss this. Make sure you hold your spot with the link down below. So that's all I've got for today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you inside.